Hey, so this is Mike from Epic Marketer, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I created this video in my car with less than $20 worth of equipment. So what I wanted to do was to be able to create content in order to be able to help people as much as possible. And the only way to do that is to be able to remove the friction between making content and actually publishing it. So for example, in the past, I would need to use my, uh, my MacBook, I would sit down in a quiet place and I would record something, hopefully my kids or my dogs or my wife or whatever wouldn't interrupt and then I would uh, edit that information, then I would upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or whatever and then I would publish it uh, either in social media or to my blog or whatever, right? A lot of little steps. Now what I wanted to do was to be able to do video that had uh, decent, doesn't have to be pristine, but decent audio like you're hearing right now in my car. Because in my car, I can always be by myself and I can always have it be pretty consistent as far as the volume goes, okay? So what I found was the video quality is always fine on my iPhone. I have an older one, it's an iPhone 6. Um, but the audio was kind of tinny, okay, and it picked up a lot of the background noise. So what I did was I used the headphones that you see here that are just like the headphones that come with the iPhone. And what would happen is it would record the audio from the phone, okay, so from the phone, that microphone instead of this microphone that's on here. So you still ended up with that tinny, crappy sound. And so after doing a little research, I figured out what it was. And what it is is there's a little adapter you can buy for $10 that's a, uh, it's called a 3.5 or headphone jack to lightning adapter. And so the lightning is a part that you would plug in the end of your cable on your iPhone that's like your charger cable, okay? And then the other end is what the headphones would plug into. So you plug that in, you plug it into your phone, and then you turn on your video, and you have this result, which is it will record the audio from your microphone on your thing instead of the microphone on your phone, okay? So what's great about this is you can record a video like I am right now. I have sunglasses on so I can watch the roads. So I'm not gonna get into a car accident or anything. It doesn't look weird that I'm you know, not looking at the, the camera the whole time. And so I can deliver you, my reader or listener or viewer, whatever, great content as it comes up. See, because one of the big things about content creation is you listen to something, you watch something, you have a conversation, and you get a great idea and you want to share it. And you either don't and it's just gone forever, or maybe you make a note, but you don't really have the full concept fresh in your mind when you go back to those notes and go, oh yeah, that's right, that was a good idea, right? So what you want to do is you want to, again, remove that friction from your ability to create content. And, and this is whatever works for you, okay? Like for me, I'm doing a video right now, um, but I know that the audio is good enough that I can strip that and put that on my podcast if I want, and I'm not referencing <clears throat> something you should be looking at, like, you know, as you can see on the screen here type of thing. Instead, it's just sharing a concept in order to help people where they're at to answer uh, a question or solve a problem, okay? So if you are more of an audio person, hey, you can do this and just uh, record the audio instead of recording the video and throw it on your podcast or your blog or whatever. But if you're a video person, now you have the ability to do both and you can do them both super cheap. So the headphones, by the way, um, were 10 bucks. Uh, I forget what the brand is, but they look just like the iPhone headphones, and they're they're a cheap brand. It's not anything uh, significant. And like I said, the lightning to headphone adapter was only ten bucks. So for twenty bucks and the smartphone that you already have in your pocket, uh, you can have great quality audio. And when I say great, I mean it's you're not hearing my air conditioner, you're not hearing my engine, you're not hearing the the road traffic or anything like that. So if you are listening to this on a podcast uh, or headphones or whatever, it's not going to grit on you. And audio is actually really important when it comes to producing content. If your video 
kind of grainy or whatever, but you can still see what's going on, people will deal with it. But if it's annoying to listen to, like it hurts your ears or gives you a headache or you can't make out what they're saying, people won't listen to it. So make sure your audio is decent. This is a good solution. It's, uh, like I said, about 20 bucks. And uh, if you have other ideas that you'd like to share or comment on, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks so much. And as always, share this if you like it. Talk to you soon.